from Crema Media in Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. The growth in the use of virtual reality technologies in the South African mining industry has been considerable over the past year. Ilan Solomons met with a local virtual reality technology company to find out more about the increased emphasis on the use of virtual reality technologies in mine development and training. Virtual reality and augmented reality has in the past been associated mainly with video gaming and other leisure activities. However, in the past 20 years, the technology has been developed significantly and is now widely used in many sectors, including the aviation, military and the construction industries for planning and training purposes. Simulated Training Solutions MD Wilhelm Prinzlur believes that the mining industry can also benefit greatly through the use of virtual reality technologies. Well, the importance is that there's a lot of hazards in the mining industry and with virtual reality, the mine employees can learn from mistakes without getting hurt. So they can try out various methods, they can identify hazards, if they misidentify the hazard, they can see the consequences. So the importance is to teach people the cause and the consequence and from that how to avoid uh, dangerous circumstances and so on. So first of all there's a safety application. Secondly, we can teach people new mining methods by illustrating step by step how to uh, adopt a new method, whether it, uh, whether it be a safety installation or a vehicle inspection or uh, drilling and blasting patterns. And then finally we can also teach people productivity improvement techniques. We can show them how to link or decouple uh, equipment and what the impact is on productivity. Simulated Training Solutions Product Development Manager Johan Bauer discusses how virtual reality can improve mining operations, safety and output levels. Well, basically over the years, uh, people start to realize the potential of virtual reality. Um, the world is definitely moving away from your uh, whiteboard and chalk uh, environment. Um, where in virtual reality we can actually show things that people find difficult to understand, abstract concepts, uh, complex um, methodologies and so forth. Um, the virtual reality allows us to then create this into any amount of detail that the client needs, display it to user in a sense that they can understand and actually speaks to their language, uh, which if they can understand something they will buy into it and make it their own, um, which means that they will basically uh, start practicing it. Um, that yields a lot uh, better results in training, uh, not only from retention of information, but also people in changing attitude and changing behaviour in uh, playing it safe in the mining industry and uh, making it a better place. Um, as far as new technology, um, you go to the bottom end of the range where you've got uh, PC screen based, PC based training. Um, you get to the head mounted displays like the Oculus Rift. Um, a lot of companies is now bringing out uh, third party. Uh, hardware, you can basically take a smartphone and put it into a device, as I've shown you earlier, and your smartphone becomes a virtual reality head-mounted display. Um, it allows for total immersion. Um, yeah, and then we can go to the far end of the scale where you've got cave and cube systems, where basically um, all the surrounding walls are projected in 3D stereoscopic. You get a total immersion and uh, your sense of belief tells you that you're actually in this virtual environment. A new public-private business plan for South Africa's iconic blue train is under development following the recent tie-up between state-owned Transnet and Sun International. Transnet acting CEO Sia Bonga Gama and Sun International's Graham Stevens offer a foretaste of what is likely. Our goal is to use this strategy to support a business case to recapitalize the blue train which may include building new state-of-the-art uh, trains and coaches. At the moment, we have two sets um, of, the, of the blue train, and in future, uh, we may be able to build many more to extend the reach and the footprint of the blue train. We've got some iconic properties, uh, in particular the Table Bay uh, Hotel, with uh, Table Mountain as being one of the most visited tourist attractions uh, in South Africa. We've got the Palace at uh, Sun City, and we've got the Royal Livingston at Big Falls destinations which we brand Sunlux and which are destinations all accessible by rail. We believe that uh, we should extend the reach um, uh, of the blue train and that a partnership uh, such as this one with um, Sun International uh, can in fact um, 
uh, assist us to improve in terms of how we package uh, the value proposition of the blue train. We envisage that um, there could be more trains that, um, that are built, that there could be new routes uh, that are explored. In this uh, preliminary phase, it is about tapping into the understanding we have of various source markets that will be relevant, working together with the Transnet team and their understanding of rail um, to evolve a business plan, at the end of which it will be a plan we can make informed decisions from. Uh, how much to spend, uh, what routes to undertake, uh, the mix of domestic versus international tourism. Other news making headlines this week, Schneider Electric signs a switchgear production agreement with a local manufacturer. Global energy management specialist Schneider Electric has entered into a manufacturing partnership agreement with local electrical product manufacturer Steelcore Power to produce Schneider's new Premset smart grid ready medium voltage switchgear. For us South Africa uh, is a big market, the biggest market for the whole continent. So we increase the local content, we increase the localization of our manufacturing. A year ago we expand into a new factory in Midran. Now it's a partner, Stilco, that will uh, manufacture for Schneider Electric. But we want to improve the local content to serve South Africa, but also uh, the rest of the continent from here. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.